Night to Skater Harshita Rotani, who last yeah. competed on the Junior Grand Prix back in 2019. I had the pleasure to interview her that year as well. Let's take a look at the short program. Rashida Ratani from India was very interesting. Mark, I did an interview with her back in 2019, and I think she was 14 years old then, or maybe 15, I'm not sure. And I just spoke with her father. Her father came up to me and reminded me, you know, of her in this competition, and I remember that. And now here she is, you know, five years later, and it's so interesting. It's one of the things I love the most about the Junior Grand Prix, the stories that aren't the common skating stories. And in India, they don't have a lot of rinks and facilities, and uh, very, very few. And for these skaters, the courage that it takes to come here against with all these good skaters, they have true passion mm. for the sport in a country that doesn't know much about this sport. It's something special. And you can see here the single axle and, you know, you, you're talking about a skater that does not have the resources, any of the resources that most other skaters have. Mm. And Knowing Hashita as 18 years old now, and she competed last on the Junior Grand Prix in 2019. This would be her last junior season, and you just assume that she wants to, before the junior season is unavailable to her, have another opportunity to compete and represent her nation here on the Junior Grand Prix. And so that in itself is wonderful. That in itself is inspiring to others. And then if I just think now about you've told me about you've seen her dad as we see her just working through struggling with the sit behind feature and the sit spin here. But if you've seen her dad, I, if I imagine being Hashida's dad watching this, I'm in tears just thinking about the pride for my child. So, you know, it doesn't and, matter and the standard on the ice, every parent's bursting with pride. And it also made me very proud about the Junior Grand Prix because they were mm. very appreciative for the kindness in which we received these athletes from around the world, many who don't have the resources or the abilities at the stage mm. compared to those other ones. And they're all equal in my mind. They're all, it's all, 
prepare a game and mm. they're doing it because they love it, right? So that just strengthens our our sort of image and, and our thought process about the Junior Grand Prix and how important it is, not just for the development of skaters, but for the development of people who happen to skate. Mm. And seeing Hashita shape hearts in the kiss and cry only reaffirms everything that the ICU are, are, are doing and, and with the Vision 2030, as you said, promoting yeah. the the support and the humans and I just love to see like for me then seeing her she does shape hearts and the kiss and cry just makes me happy knowing that she will feel supported here we are we are, we've got your back we we, we yeah. are delighted you're here absolutely and the short program scores for Harshita Rotani 10.76 and the output her 26th position that's fine she's here and she's competing she's skating she's doing what she loves to do with a lot of courage and not many resources.